This is the Thermaltake Dr. Power 3 PSU tester. It is the latest version of the PSU testers from Thermaltake and it incorporates all the latest technologies like ATX 3.1 and PCIe 5.1. In this video, I'm going to show you all its connections and we'll be testing it by testing this MSI A1000GL mug PSU. So let's start first by showing you what comes in its box. Let's open the box. And this is everything you get in the box. You have documentation, a carrying pouch, and the Thermaltake Dr. Power 3 PSU tester. Let me show you now the ports of this Dr. Power 3. And I'm going to also show you the sequence of connecting the ports. And most importantly, I want to show you the limitations in case you connect one port, the other port will be disabled. So let me start first by the bottom. So here you have the 24 pin connection for the motherboard. And this is the first connection that you should make on this PSU tester. On the side of the PSU tester, you have the 12 plus 4 pins. So this is for the newer GPU cards. So this is compatible with ATX 3.1, which is 12V2X6, or also with ATX 3.0, which is the 12VHPWR. And if you connect a cable to this port, the PCIe port will be disabled. So this is the limitation that I wanted to talk about. So here you have the PCIe connection test, which is 6 or 8 pins. You have the Molex, you have the SATA, and here you have the CPU. And also you can test 4 pin or 8 pin for the CPU. So if you want to test the PCIe output, you need to disconnect the cable from the 12 plus 4 pins. And after you connect the 24 pin ATX power, the sequence of connection of the other cables is not important. Now that you saw the ports, I will be connecting the power supply to the PSU tester. And here's everything connected. And it's like an octopus, it has connections everywhere. Of course, I'm going to connect the PSU to the power now and turn it on. There are two test methods that you can do either manual test or automatic test. I'm going to show you the automatic test with all the cables connected. Press and hold the check button for five seconds. It will beep and it will perform the test automatically. This is a 24 pin and it is 12 volt, 5 volt. CPU, it is also correct. In case there's a problem, it will light up red. This is a 600 watts. PCIe 12V26, this is the SATA, and this is the Molex. So the PSU passed all the tests and it is working as expected. So for the manual test, simply press once for each test. So this is the 24 pin test to toggle, press once again, it will go to the CPU. And then this is the 600 watts 12V2 times 6. And this is the SATA and the voltage of the PSU is really spot on. And this is the Molex and that's it for all the test manual tests. So let me now disconnect this one. I'm going to turn off the PSU first and then I'm going to remove this. And this way you're going to see the PCIe, how it will be tested. I turned the PSU back on. Give it a second. Okay. And now let's press this one. Let's go to PCIe. And you see when you disconnect the 600 watts cable, you have the PCIe connection that is tested. As you saw, the Dr. Power 3 PSU tester from Thermaltake is an essential tool, especially if you're gonna buy maybe a used PSU, and also it will help you troubleshoot any power issues with your PC. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description. If you make a purchase using my link, I'll get a small percentage. But this is at no cost to you and this will support my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. If you like my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.